Yes, yes, it's true. I have been forced into learning Unity and betraying my beloved Unreal Engine. And it all started with this Discord call. Hey, Aya. What's yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I have a Unity project I need you to create an AI script for in two weeks. Uh, what? And if you don't, it means you hate your home country and all the people that live in it. But I, I don't, I, no, I don't even use Ooh. Unity. First off, let's get started with the basics. I need to get familiar with Unity and C Sharp ASAP. And the best way to do that is to make a quick and simple game that will teach me the most basic stuff. I decided to make a shitty Flappy Bird clone. What the hell is even that? Okay, so calling this a game would be spitting into every game developer's face. As you can see, you, you can't even die. There's like no collision and stuff. It's just a cube flapping between other cubes. But I took my time understanding the whole process behind it. And even with this taking my whole day, I did learn quite a lot. On day two, I decided to build on my foundation by making another game. And since the game dev challenge that Aya invited me to is about coding an AI, I came to the logical conclusion that if I want to get into AI stuff, I need to make a game that has some very simple enemies. A space invader game. I started working on a simple player that can move left and right, and then gave him the ability to shoot. The next step was the enemies. The goal was that the enemies would spawn randomly above the screen and slowly move down. If they get into contact with the invisible collision square at the bottom of the screen, the game is over. On day 3, I wanted to make the game increase in difficulty over time, so I introduced two new enemies that simply have more health. I also made a probability system so that as time moves on, the chance of a stronger enemy spawning increases. Now, I know that this is where some people might get confused, because how the hell am I making a rarity system on my third day? And you're right, you shouldn't expect to make a system like these on your third day. That would be a very unrealistic expectation. The reason why I'm succeeding at this is because I've been spending 20 to 40 hours per week learning Unreal Engine for over a year now. Meaning, I have a very good understanding of the logic behind these systems. So please don't get discouraged if you're just starting your game dev journey and are unable to make the progress I'm making. Just keep at it and you'll get there soon enough. On my fourth day, I simply made a few more changes, balancing HP, making the enemies move fast over time, and adding sound and music. Here is the result at the end of my fourth day. So, I'm starting to feel fairly confident in my C-sharp coding skills. And on this beautiful fifth day, I decided it was time to work on a proper, more complex game. My first realistic idea was a space shooter roguelike game. Now, this might not be the most original of ideas, but I only have two weeks and can't afford to spend multiple days on designing an original game. My first day into this new project was spent programming a character controller that allows the player to move in any direction. I also made a very simple enemy that simply flies towards the player. I then reused a bunch of code from my previous space invader game like the health system the damage system as well as the spawning system now we have a game where endless waves of enemies spawn and rush the player the player has to defend himself by shooting and destroying the enemies on the sixth day i decided to start with a visual makeover for this i got a space themed asset pack and i have to say this looks already way better i then started work on a more complex enemy type the plan is to make a simple AI that feels challenging and not completely stupid. The way I imagine it is that the enemy will have two states, the chasing state and the combat state. All enemies start in the chasing state where they fly towards the player until they are in attacking range. That's where the state changes into the combat state. While in combat state, they either rotate clockwise or counterclockwise around the players. They also will change rotation direction at random intervals to make it harder for the player to hit them. And obviously, while in this state, they will also shoot at the player. So yeah, that's the plan. And I wish I could now show some funny bug or say that it was insanely hard, but it kind of just all worked out the way I imagined it. So, no funny bug today. Half of the time I had 
is gone. And even if I think my progress is pretty good, I still have so much I need to learn. So let's speed run this second week. Day 7 and 8 were spent making new better enemies. The split shooter, he shoots in different directions at the same time. The sniper, he no scopes the living glowing crap out of you. The gunner, he simply goes... And the split gunner. Yeah, I don't know, fuck this dude. Day 9 and 10 were pretty boring, I just simply reworked the spawning system and balanced the game. Day 11 and 12. The player and the enemies are done. Now we need to give the player a way to get stronger. I did that by making an experience and upgrade system. We have speed, fire rate, additional gun, health regen, damage and some more less important upgrades. Each upgrade has its own rarity so that the good upgrades are less common. And every time you fill up your experience bar, you get to choose one upgrade out of three random choices. I also added a reroll system so that if none of the upgrades suit the player, he can reroll in the hopes of getting a better batch of upgrades. Time for some polishing. First, I made a menu, added sounds, particle effects, and a lot of balancing changes. And for the last and final day, I wanted to do something special. Something that makes the game instantly better. I wanted an online leaderboard. And for this, I used a tool called Loot Locker. And with their amazing help, I got the leaderboard up and running in less than a day. This game is completely free. If you want to try it out and maybe make it into the top 10 and see your name on the leaderboard, I'll have a link to this game in the description. Oh, and do you remember the AI challenge I was talking about? The whole reason why I started this whole journey? Well, if you want to see how I did against all these other devs, then click this video here.